You might notice I'm carrying this bloody overcoat. It's too balmy to wear it. <laughs> oh dear. Yesterday we were snowed in literally by... There wasn't very much snow but it was enough to shut down the airports and stuff. We got stuck here. Uh, we were supposed to leave last Friday. Can't get a replacement flight till Monday, tomorrow afternoon. Anyway, carrying the overcoat today because it's about 10 degrees this morning. Yesterday it was minus 5. So, I'm in London on holidays. And, uh... Yesterday I was about to go uptown to do the touristy bits and almost coincidentally around the same time a friend sent an email that said um, something along the lines of so obviously you're going to go to the Imperial War Museum and that kind of struck me as a little bit odd and a little bit humorous and very coincidental but anyway I had no notion of going to the Imperial War Museum yesterday for a couple of reasons but let me tell you a little story so back in the day when I was younger in the army I uh, was one of those what you would call keen green soldier I loved all the shooting and all that sort of stuff anyway I wasn't even in infantry but I loved all that stuff but anyway got an opportunity to go down to Canberra to uh, visit army newspaper for a couple of weeks and while I was down there I obviously set aside some time to go visit the war memorial I set a whole day aside I was in there for Saturday went early and I think it was, I was less than an hour in the place when I just got overcome with depression and sadness and rage and everything and all that to do with World War One and the futility of the loss of life and all that and I, I had to leave I couldn't go back it took me probably 15 years to go back again that was a bit sad of course but you know that's the effect of it so that's one reason why I wouldn't obviously go to the Imperial War Museum another reason was that Rosie was with me and you don't go to museums when Rosie's with you She's like, yep, seen it, yep, seen it, yep, seen it. And I'm like, hang on, I want to read this. I want to read this. And she goes nuts, and I go nuts. So we don't go to the museum together. Another reason I probably wouldn't have gone to the museum yesterday, even if I was alone, is London is my favourite town in the whole world. I think it's just awesome with the history that's out in the streets everywhere. So when I go up to London, I just love to have no plans whatsoever and uh, get out on the street and just walk, duck down alleyways, go through parks, into some buildings that I fancy, but it's just such a great place to uh, carry a camera and go take some photos. So anyway, that was my plan yesterday. Uh, and it wasn't great from that point of view because uh, it was a bit miserable and cold and snow and crowds of people. We only lasted three or four hours uptown anyway and got jack of it and came home. So for me, the Imperial War Museum is like a bucket list item that I might get to one day. But it's, uh, it's honestly not high on my priority. So you see, strange as it may seem, a military magazine publisher like me is not that interested in the in the history aspects of the military contact is not an historical military publication contact is about and for today's men and women in uniform in the Australian Defence Force and others who are out there in the field actually doing the job today I'm interested in what they're interested in in their equipment their working conditions their lifestyle that's what contact is about so by definition that's what I'm about and so I guess for me that's what that's what really makes it not obvious that I might go to the Imperial War Museum so there you go that's my little story hope you enjoyed another video from the editor's desk while he's on holidays this time 
smash that like button subscribe all those other YouTube things you're supposed to do whatever see you in the next video